hello and welcome back and that is right we're looking at this the ds920 and today i want to help you decide whether it's still worth buying in summer 2022 in less than five minutes so first and foremost it is pretty good yeah what should we do with the other four and a half minutes yeah, it's definitely worth it. Do you know what? Let's fill it out anyway. This is a great NAS. It's probably one of the best NAS that Synology have ever produced in terms of the majority of its hardware in its disk station series for a number of years. It's got a great little CPU inside that's seen a tremendous amount of development, both in the homebrew community and Synology themselves, to rank the amount of efficiency they can for DSM. It runs with the very latest version of DSM 7.1 inside and it runs everything it runs everything that that service that platform that software everything that you want anything that Synology have said that they provide this system will throw it in for you so if you are looking at this device that is regularly on offer it is always on offer not just your prime days and your black fridays but regular offers on different websites you are getting a system that can do everything that Synology say their platform can do. Another great advantage of the DS920, and this goes for a lot of older generation devices, but specifically the 920, and that is compatibility. Synology have been making waves and making some changes in their uh, compatibility and their support in later newer releases, and we are seeing changes in the compatibility of hard drives and SSD. We're seeing certain upgrades disappear and different bits and bobs just not really appearing on their arrangement of supported devices. The 920 doesn't have any of that, and although the, they still do insist quite strongly that you use their memory inside, where there isn't that kind of limitation towards the NVMe SSD base inside and the hard drive base, with an enormous array of compatible and supported hard drives and SSD from WD, from Seagate, from Ultrastar, etc., and etc. On top of that, that CPU, as mentioned, has really been wrung out by the community from GitHub to uh, Plex Media server implementations and improvements on the codex inside to take advantage of the embedded graphics um, to guides online from my own platform and many, many other out there have been centered on this very NAS. So going for the DS920, there are very few questions left online that don't already have an answer in one place or another utilizing the DS920 there. Another thing I talk about software, it's worth highlighting that this system, although of course it supports DSM 7 and 7.1, Newer systems are arriving with 7 and 7.1 by default, but the 920 and the internal DOM inside has 6.2 inside. Why is that important? Because 6.2 has a bunch of features such as Synology moments and um, some of the position on USB support with compatible dongles and more that are not in DSM-7. And they're still updating 6.2 for security patches and still doing all of that. So you're not necessarily forced to go for the DSM-7 option by going for the 920 there. It's good value. It's always on offer. The good uh, There's a good arrangement of hardware that have been really wrung out for its efficiency and ability. And you still have DSM-6.2 inside. On top of that, if you do go down the road where you want to go for DSM-7 and indeed DSM in general, you have Synology Hybrid RAID to take advantage of mixed drive RAID configurations inside, which is something that isn't available on traditional storage RAID configurations, which insist on the same drive. On top of that, you've also got support of fast RAID repair, so that RAIDs are much faster in their rebuild time, and of course, a choice of EXT4 or BTRFS inside. Again, great price, great software, great everything inside, but it's not all good. There are things about this device which aren't going to tick all the boxes for everyone. First and foremost, let's address the big old elephant in the room. One gigabit is an Ethernet there. Again, not a lot of people are using 2.5 GBE compared to 10 or um, 1 GBE these days. Of course, but it's getting bigger all the time. And in terms of future proofing, I'd rather have it than not have it at all, particularly at the same price. On top of that, it's only got one memory upgrade slot. The four gig that this system has is soldered to the board. It's four individual Samsung NAND modules. Consequently, you can't upgrade that much and you can't really officially go above eight gig anyway. So you've only got one upgrade slot for a four gig memory stick and Synology memory, it's a little pricey. And finally, expandability on these systems is not cheap. And if you want to take advantage of expansions on this system, You've got to use the DX517, which is a 5 bay j bot expansion, which knocks around for about three to 400 quid. And again, expandability is good, and this is a four bay, so it's something a lot of business users may have to look into. And you still have the option of Synology Hybrid RAID, but still expandability on Synology systems is by no means cheap. But this has been 
should you still consider buying the DS920 in summer 2022 in under five minutes? And I'll be honest, I've got a little bit of time to spare. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Do let me know in the comments if you did. Otherwise, like, subscribe, support the channel, and I'll see you next time.